Hello, YouTube friends and neighbors. Oh my gosh, what was it in three weeks and I did a video? Uh, I can't believe it. I'm going through video withdrawal. I feel like I forgot how to make one. <laughs> I, I, my four-year-old son brought some germs home from school, so I got sick for like 10 days. Uh, and then I messed up my toe really badly, so I just been was in a lot of pain for another week. And uh, I'm just out of it. And then the election, everyone's gone crazy and... Uh, uh, but anyway, that's my life. I miss doing videos and that's something I really love to do. So I, I wanted to do one of my favorite kind of videos, which is a how to collect video. Where I show you my pickups and my hauls and I kind of give you tips and advice on how to collect stuff. I uh, hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope you missed me <laughs> and you're happy that I'm back. Uh, maybe some of you didn't notice that I was missing, but that's okay. <laughs> Okay, so, uh, where do I start? I don't even remember what I purchased in the last few weeks. Alright, I'll start with this. I got myself a, uh, Kota Bakia Black Canary on eBay. I won her for $37, I think, plus $16 shipping. So she was like $53-ish. Uh, I really want to put together a whole set of just all the female statues that they make because they're just so cool to me they're pretty they look awesome uh i think this one was previously open that's why i got it for a couple bucks cheaper than normal and i i feel like i've there's ones i've wanted in the past that i missed out on and the prices just jumped like crazy so this is the thing with these statues is uh you know i'm i'm not buying them because i'm investing in them i want to open them up display them look at them so I don't mind finding an open one that's like new condition that I can save $10. So that's what I recommend. If it's something that you want to open up and actually display, uh, feel free to find a used one. Okay. Uh, she's awesome. Let's get all the plastic off. I just love the details on their statues. They're just they're really pretty. They look awesome. Uh, I love the anime, so I love the anime style of them. This is cool. She looks like she's on like a rippled water effect on the base. Details are really awesome on her. So I want. I mean, some of the older ones. I want uh, like Psylocke, and I want. Um, I have the regular Supergirl. I need the the blackest night supergirl or the black one um so i'm i'm hoping that i can find some of the out of print ones down the road i'm thinking of one day maybe i have to just hit a bunch of comic shops or something looking for them because i just yeah like psylocke she has two different versions the older version is like 300 dollars now and the, the second version is maybe $150. Ah, uh, it's crazy. Okay, uh, this is going to be a very scattered episode because I kind of forgot what I bought. <laughs> I don't remember if I showed you these yet. Uh, I don't think I did, but I, I was able to get um, the Comic-Con Hawk Girl and the Joker... In, you know, the two or three minutes I wasn't feeling terrible. I went to Barnes & Noble and I picked them up. And uh, I don't think I showed them to you guys yet. I uh, really, really wanted the Hawk Girl. So that's cool. I got those for $15 each, the regular price, plus tax. I honestly don't remember if I showed you those yet. Uh, okay, so the next thing I picked up... Uh, it's been three weeks. So I have had quite... Not, you know, being sick and not being able to work, especially when you own your own business, it makes you broke. So I've been broke, so I, I've, I'm surprised I was still able to buy a few things, but right now I just, I can't pick up anything. It's driving me nuts. Um, but a lot, of, I guess a lot of the stuff I had ordered before three weeks ago. So one thing I got, it was like 20 bucks. Uh, I saw the Ziggy doll. Now I'm a huge fan of Ziggy and uh, I love the Ziggy dolls. This is one of my favorite kind of toys when I was a kid and I saw him pop up on ebay and uh he looks like this style that was from the early 80s like 84 but i've never seen him in white usually it says i love you and he's got a red shirt so i was like oh what is that so i bid on him i thought it was one of the early ones 
But when I got him, I realized he was from Germany. So he's an international release. Uh, I was really excited to find him. Uh, he ended up costing, I think, like $21. That's super awesome to me. All right, so I got another eBay uh, lot collection purchase. I, uh, I've i been so frustrated with trying to get the new release Funko Pops on the website. Uh, you know, the Walgreens exclusive, everything. It just seems so impossible. And it's getting to the point where it's just really frustrating me. Because I can't find any of them. And they're just expensive. So I might switch from trying to get the hottest new thing when it comes out. To finding something that's, you know, a little bit older. That has a value. That's gone up in value. That's hard to get. But for a good price if I can find it in a lot. So I think that's what I'm going to do. And so this is was uh, this is one lot I paid. Let's see, paid eighty five dollars for this lot, and it's got twelve Funko Pops in it. So that's uh, was a seven dollars a piece. Uh, so let's dig in. Let's see what we got. What's in the box? All right, we got uh, uh, we got the seventy fifth anniversary Captain America. Very cool. We got um, the previews exclusive Deadpool in a suit. Uh, $7 is a great price on the helmet. His box is a little bit beat up, but you know what? When I'm buying stuff at a discount, I don't mind a little bit where it's the box because then I can open it up and display it and enjoy it. I'm not worried. You know, if I bought them at the full $15, $20 price, I would worry about it more. Uh, we, all right, we got the Entertainment Earth Captain Cold Unmask. $7 is a great price for him. I think that's uh, wholesale, and you had to buy a bunch to get that price. Uh, I got the Kamikaze exclusive U.S. agent. $7. Awesome price for him. I don't remember. I might have him already, but I don't mind duplicates. I can always trade and sell or sell them. All right. This is the one I really wanted. The Target exclusive Winter Soldier, where he's missing his arm. That's uh, that's one I just didn't see at Target, and I just didn't want to rush around looking for it. So, finding it in a lot like this, paying $7, I am very happy. And that's one thing. I always say, if you have the ability to sell stuff, since I have a store, uh, I can if I get duplicates, I can always sell those off for $10, you know, regular pop price, and or a little bit more if it's exclusive, and get my money back. So, I don't mind buying a lot like this, because I have the ability to sell the extra ones. And what that does is it lets me get ones like that without, you know, running around trying to find it at Target, spending hours, time, and lots of gas money. Uh, I can just get them in a lot. All right, we got um, regular Daredevil. Very cool. I didn't have him yet. I'm a big Daredevil fan, so I'm happy to find him. Seven bucks. Even though he's just a common, I'm, uh, you know, I'm super happy to have him. Okay, and then this is the main one I really, really wanted. Was the Dr. Harleen Walgreens exclusive. I, it was just driving me nuts. I just couldn't find it. And everyone wants $40, $50, maybe $35, $30 if you're lucky. Uh, but a lot like this, 7 bucks. Oh, yeah. So happy to get that. You know me. I click the female superheroes and villains. So I have to get them all. Uh, okay, we got the yellow Daredevil. Again, a common, but I don't have him, so I'm happy to fill in my collection with characters that I, I love for seven bucks. All right, and then uh, Walgreens exclusive Unmasked Spider Gwen. Ah, oh, I spent, what is that, a whole day, eight hours, seven hours, six hours? I forget how many hours, walking around looking for it, couldn't find it. And then finally I got it. I made a nice video out of it if you guys watched it. But uh, here I am, I'm getting it for seven bucks. <laughs> That's a, sometimes if you're just patient, you'll find the deals, and the deals are sometimes better than the the hunt. I mean, the hunt is fun, but not when you lose. <laughs> hunt is fun when you find stuff. It sucks when you don't. All right, next we got uh, Black Widow, the GameStop exclusive. I think I have this one, so that's okay. I'll get a little bit of my money back, and uh, you know it's cool to get exclusives for seven bucks. Okay, next we have a uh, Kitty Pride Comic Con. Exclusive. I mean, this was fifteen dollars plus, just like seventeen dollars after tax, if you bought it from the store. So seven bucks. I mean, that's awesome. I have her already, but still, seven dollars. That's awesome. 
and uh, the last was the um, sepia tone. I believe this was an Amazon exclusive. And this one's like $15, $18 online. So getting it for seven bucks, that's awesome. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So that's all twelve. Seven dollars each. Uh, I let's see, the two Target exclusives I really wanted. Um, I got maybe three or four more that I didn't have for my collection and everything. You know, the duplicates I'll put in my store and get my money back. So I'm really happy with that. I think that's what I'm going to do for now on. I might just stop trying to chase down the, the new hot, you know, Funko Pops as they come out. I mean, unless I see them and it comes up easy, but if I miss out, I'll just wait. I'm getting kind of sick of getting frustrated and upset that I'm not getting the ones I want. Uh, here I am. I'm getting the ones I want and I'm paying cheap for them. You know, you might think, oh, $85. But the thing is, if I had bought this one on eBay for 40 and uh, maybe like 15 for those two, I would have paid $80 anyway, you know? So it's, it's I get the ones I want, sell the duplicates, probably get most of my money back just on the duplicates. And uh, I'm happy. <laughs> when you, it's fun. When you collect, you should collect to be happy. You shouldn't be collecting to try to make a profit or something or uh and you shouldn't be really just getting agitated because uh people are scalping i mean i think you know uh toy tokyo that whole thing i think people are using bots now they have to be the speed at which stuff is selling out and people are like no we can't use bots i read somewhere if someone was saying like it's impossible you know we would have noticed it was the same the thing is people who are buying 10 have 10 addresses they're using aunts and uncles and cousins and Whatever address they can get so they can order 10 or something, if they're making 30 or $40, then, you know, if they've ordered 10 and they're making, let's say, $20 on each pop and they're buying five different pops, so $100 per address times 100, they're making $1,000. It's worth getting a few uh, addresses. And bots are not that hard. You know, if you know how to program, you can make a bot. So it's getting really hard to buy stuff uh on the you know the websites as they come out toy tokyo is impossible sold out in seconds the funko pop shop that stuff sells out within minutes and i'm, I'm pretty sure it's robots buying luck because you'll see at least 10 to 20 percent of the limited amount will show up on ebay that week and you know that means buy, you know people are buying just to sell and it's kind of ridiculous but that's okay i'll find my ebay lots and uh, i think i'm just going to continue to do that because i'm happier that way I forgot. <laughs> I got this lot like two weeks ago. I forgot I got it. So it, it's kind of fun to actually see it because I hadn't really dug into the box yet. Okay, what else? What else? What else? Uh, another Ziggy thing. I I love buying international Ziggy things. Anything from other countries. And this is the first time I found a Ziggy thing that came from Israel. It got shipped from Israel. It's just uh, like a name tag or two from sticker set. Probably from the 80s. Uh, it's written in Hebrew. I thought that was cool. I've never had an Israeli Ziggy item before. So that, uh, I was really excited. It cost me about 10 bucks. You might seem silly to pay $10 for like a used sticker sheet, but because of the rarity and how unique it is for me as a Ziggy collector, I absolutely love that. That's super awesome. And that's what I always say about rarity. It's not how valuable it is, it's just how hard to find. And that's something I've never seen before looking all the time for years. Okay, let's see what else, what else, what else. I guess we'll take a quick look. I never open these up anymore because I always get them a week after everyone else and everyone's already done reviews, so it's kind of boring to do a video. So I'll throw them into one of my pickups for now on. I uh, I got my Doctor Strange subscription box, which, uh, you know, I got like 10 <laughs> subscription boxes that I haven't done videos on. So I'll just also throw them in my pickup. I mean, it's... Pretty decent value. You get a patch. You get a pin. You get, um... Alright, this is just a... This shows you what's coming up. And then the other side, it'll show what's in the box. Uh, you get a t-shirt. Really cool pop. Uh, Doctor Strange t-shirt. Um, one of my favorite things to get in the Collector Core boxes are the comics. I'm such a big comic collector, so, so getting the variant editions are really cool. And then, uh, oh, I love Doctor Strange. The movie was so good. I really enjoyed it. And then the golden, you know, he's meditating or floating pop. That's really cool. I want the Target exclusives, 
but I might just wait till I can find a lot so I can get that for seven dollars too. Instead of we, you know, going and rushing trying to get it and just dealing with scalpers. Ugh. And then uh, it comes with a mug. I don't really like the mugs. I kind of wish they would just stick with two pops. Because, you know, for $35, basically getting the pop in the comic. And those are the two things. So, you know, that's a little bit high. The t-shirt, I mean, that adds value. Put everything back. But uh, I don't know. I I'm kind of broke right now. My subscriptions are running out. So I'm not sure if I'm going to renew or not. It might just be the kind of thing where I start trying to find the pops in the eBay lots instead of buying the boxes. Because I've purchased many of the pops in lots without the box. Although I do like the comics. I don't want to miss out on the comics. And the thing is, when I like, if I just want the pop out of this box, if I can find a lot for $8 a pop and I get the pop for $8 instead of paying $35 and getting a bunch of other stuff that I don't really want so much, it might be better. I'm not 100% sure. But anyway, it's a cool box. I love the movie, so uh, it's fun to have the box. Okay, let's see. What else? What's the next thing? All right. Okay, next thing I got, I'm going to call this um, email notifications. So I got this box from Toys R Us. And uh, the, the reason why I got this box is that I signed up for notifications for the, the Ravens. The Red Raven, I really, really wanted her. I wanted to complete the set. And uh, so I put my email in, just let me know when they came back in stock. So I got a notification and I ordered them right away. They weren't even on the website. You had to click on the link to find them. So I got the Red and the Orange Raven for $8.99 each. Really awesome. And I, uh, I just ordered a, a Lego minifigure from Series 6 just so I could get the free shipping. You know, it was, uh, it was like $20.00. Free shipping, worth it. So that's definitely a tip I always say is there's a pop you really want that's a store exclusive. If they have the ability to sign up for notifications, do it. Because you never know when they'll let you know when they have them. And that, that's a lot easier than if they say, oh, they're going to show up at noon and then you show up at noon and everyone else does with their bots and you can't get it because the, you know, the site doesn't work or everything sells out in two seconds. So I'm excited to get those. Now I have to get the newer ones that just came out. I think they came out with a glow-in-the-dark purple one, a um, like a brownish red one, and I think a third one, but I forget the color. Uh, I love them. They're so cool. Okay, let's see what the next thing is. All right, so you guys might have remembered I mentioned uh, Target was having a sale like three or four weeks ago. Where it was twenty five dollars off a hundred, so here's my my target purchase. I uh, I paid seventy five plus tax on this, so I probably paid about eighty dollars for everything in this box. So let me show you what I got. Right, first, I got uh, the Target exclusive Captain America Jada medal. I'm really into these now. I um, I started collecting them. I haven't picked up any in a few weeks, but that's just because, you know, I was sick <laughs> and my toe hurts. <laughs> but I'll pick them up if I can get them at a discount. And I got the uh, Joker and Harley double set. That was really cool. I like that set. I like the double sets. They look cool. And I got the um, Target exclusive Iron Man. I think their prices were like ten dollars for these. I think this was twenty, so it was twenty-five percent off. So it would have been seven fifty and fifteen. And last, I got the armored Batman. Uh, he's pretty cool. I, I really like these. I think they look awesome. I kind of like them more than pops right now, and I like that they're heavy and they're made out of metal. And then the big thing I bought was a uh, uh, the Kotobukiya Lady Deadpool. Which, again, I really, really want to get all the Kotobukiya uh, Bisojo statues. So I think her price was like 60 then minus 25% off, which would have been, what, 12 15 So she was like 45 bucks. 45 bucks is a great price. I could, I would pick up all the Kotobukiya figures. Uh, one thing I would recommend, if you like to open your statues, 
I always open them from the bottom because it, you leave the top seal intact. So when, if you put it back in the box, it still looks nice. Like it's in the box. So I like that where you can take it out, enjoy it. And then if you want it to look nice in the box, you can put it back in. Uh, since she hasn't been opened yet, I will open her up in a different video. Where she was already open, so she was easy to get out. Um, I'll show you the box, though. She comes with a couple heads. Oh, she's really cool. I just, I, I like the box art. I like everything about them. I can't wait to add more and more to my collection. Okay. Ooh, I'm getting worn out looking at all this stuff. Okay, I got another eBay lot. I got just I just got two this time. I uh, I think this is the way I'm going to start collecting more. Just looking for lots with good Funko Pops that I need and want for a good price. Uh, this one was a little more expensive. Uh, once again, it was 12 Pops. Uh, this time it was it was uh, just over $91 for the 12 Pops. So that was at like $7.50, $7.60 a piece. So a little bit more, but still a really good price for per pop. I mean, you have to wait till commons are on sale to get that price. So to get any kind of exclusives or rare ones. It's weird though. He spent $10 to ship it in this second box. It's really weird to me. But anyway, let's see what's inside. First, I got uh, another US agent. <laughs> I guess he's the common and expensive one that everyone bought that they want maybe they're buying it to make some money or something i have no idea but so duplicate i got um the glow in the dark walgreens spider-man now normally 750 is really good but they were having the buy one get one free sale so um some people are probably picking them up for five dollars which is a great price i couldn't find any of my other my i did buy the spider-man 2099 for my son but uh, I couldn't find any of the ones I needed at the, during the sale. Plus, plus my foot hurts. I could barely walk. Okay, let's see what else I got. I got uh, a Hot Topic exclusive Daredevil. I guess this one glows in the dark. Or maybe it's the same exact one as the other one I got. Just with a sticker. Not sure. I got uh, Captain America. Regular old Captain America. Still cool. I don't know if I had that one. I got here's the one I really, really wanted. I got the Iron Spider, Walgreens exclusive. <laughs> I've been looking for this guy for what, a year now? Uh, I think it's the last one I needed from that set. So I'm so excited to get how I bought the whole lot basically for him. <laughs> and then I got um, the Nemesis Punisher. Which I think I had him already. It's kind of silly. You know, I pay $80 for a lot that I probably have most of what's in the lot. But again, I do have a store so I can get $10 back each. And uh, and I always say, you know, I recommend if you have the ability to sell duplicates, then buying collections are one of the best ways to collect. Because you can always get rid of the stuff that you don't want. Whereas if, if, if you don't know have a way to sell or you're not used to using eBay to sell stuff or you don't sell a flea market or something, don't do it. Because you'll end up with a bunch of stuff that just clutters your house. So I, I do recommend the ability to sell the stuff makes collecting easier. And then you can find the deals. I got the Hot Topic Anti-Venom. Very cool. And I got, uh, I got the regular Cyclops. I don't think I had him yet. I don't remember. Ah. Uh, that's one thing I love doing my unboxing videos because I can go back and see which ones I have. It makes it easier because I usually end up putting everything away because I don't have space to display everything. So just watching those videos, that's one reason I like doing videos. I can just see my collection. Okay, we got Storm. That's very cool. I definitely don't have her Hot Topic exclusive. I'm very happy to get that. Got uh, the original Black Spider-Man with the old sticker. I have him already, but still, it's cool to see him. And then, uh, we've got the original Punisher with the Susan sticker. You know what? I don't think I have this one. I think I just have the Thunderbolts one. Oh, that's cool. I'm very happy to get him. 
And the last one in here is uh, Hot Topic Exclusives Green Goblin. <laughs> Another one I spent forever looking for, and now I'm buying it for $7.50. I think I paid like $12 for it in the store after looking for it for many days. Or months. Ah, oh, very cool. Ah, oh, I'm happy, happy, happy. So happy. Ah, oh, so many Funko Pops. Ah, oh, think about it. I mean, the price I paid for all of these, you probably could have just, if you just bought one at a time, you bought... Like four or five of them, maybe five of them at eBay prices, regular prices, will be the same. So I get a bunch of other ones for free that I can sell off for 10 bucks a piece. And, you know, if I sell eight out of the 12, I'll break even. Or, you know, it'll cost me $10 to keep the five that I want. So that's a great way to collect. I mean, that's that's the only way I can collect because I'm not a rich person. And I'm, I'm not a scalper. I'm not going out trying to buy them out of people. I'm just looking for lots with cool, interesting selection for a good price. Best way to collect dice. Oh, so much stuff. My office has been just cluttered up with all these boxes and stuff, wanting to do these videos, but I just, I've been feeling so terrible. So it's so nice to actually get them out of the box and I'll be able to play with them, look at them, and then I'll put them away and have my office back. Oh, so nice. Okay, let's see uh, if, what else I could find. Okay, I got a, a, a few things that I got through my store that someone traded in. Um, that's another thing I recommend. If you do have the ability, whether you sell one day a week at a flea market, you'll have people bring you stuff. And that's that's cool. <laughs> you know, I, I don't really make a huge fortune. I don't make a ton of money buying and selling stuff. Uh, but what I do is I get the opportunity to add things to my collection for a relatively good price. So uh, this guy brought in, his uh, wife said, you got to get all these Funko Pops out of the house. And he just didn't want to deal with eBay. So he brought them in. I paid about half retail for everything. Uh, and, you know, I sold most of it because I, I didn't, I already had it. But I kept a couple things. I paid uh, $7.50 for the uh, Jimmy Chonga truck, which is cool. I didn't have that yet. I paid. He basically just sold all his big ones. He didn't sell. I guess he figured they had less upward value. We're just fine. I like the big ones. I got the regular Wampa. I have the flock one, but not the regular one. I paid uh, seven fifty for that as well. Very cool. And then the last one I got from his from his collection that I kept was the um, Bioshock Songbird. This one looks really cool. Very awesome. Uh, how are you guys doing with your Funko Pop collection? I feel like there's so much stuff coming out that I'm missing out on. Just not being able to get out of the house sucks. Uh, I was going to buy from uh, Toy War when they were having their big sale. Uh, there's so many that Hikari I really wanted. But uh, seriously, just being sick and injured, it's I'm broke. <laughs> That's the main reason why I haven't done I mean, it looks like I got a lot of stuff. But most of this I bought or I ordered online before I got sick. So now it's gonna be a little bit of a while. So I'll, I'll probably do some unboxings and uh, a few things like that uh, because I really miss making videos, but uh, it sucks. I'm not getting any of the new exciting things that everyone wants to see. Okay, let's see. I know I got one new thing. I forgot, I got one more pop from that guy who sold his collection. So I paid 750 for the Diamond exclusive, previous exclusives uh, Godzilla, which is really exciting. I'm a big Godzilla fan, so I'm happy to have this. I only have the regular one. I don't have the Toy Tokyo ones from last year yet. I uh, still really want those, but I'm waiting to pay like 40 bucks for them, which I know one day I'll be able to get them. But for now, I got this one. Very cool. Uh, box is a little bit open, but you know what? 750 Super excited to get that. All right. Uh, another thing, a cool thing I got was uh, uh, my friend treated me this cool Walking Dead poster book really big it's got like 40 posters inside it that's pretty cool um all i have to say is that the premiere was so brutal and i don't know i i feel like by the time i saw it i wasn't so emotionally attached to the characters because you know it's been months and i was already prepared for someone to die two people died i kind of watched it day late so it's kind of spoiled a little bit um but i love the second episode 
uh, in the kingdom. So I'm kind of looking forward to that more of that storyline. And uh, we'll see. We'll see. I mean, it's kind of depressing right now. <laughs> I don't like watching this show where they're getting all beat up. Okay. This is, uh, I got this. This is one new Monster High that I got. I, um, I had some Toys R Us bucks, so I was actually able to get the, her for free. Which is very cool. Um, I, she looks awesome. I really like her. I have to say I'm very disappointed with a lot of the other dolls coming out. All with sculpted, molded leggings and all that. Ugh. I hate it. So I'm, I'm kind of holding back buying right now because I just... I, I don't want to own them. I'm not excited. She, her, she's really awesome. I love her outfit, the way she looks. Everything about her is really awesome. I just hate that they're going cheap on everything else. Uh, I mean, all the new DC Superhero Girl action figures, they don't have actual outfits anymore. They're all molded clothing. It's They're made them more like regular action figures, but what I liked was the dolls because they had outfits. I like that. Uh, I'm going to do an unboxing of her hopefully this weekend. Because she's pretty cool. I, I really, really dig her. Okay, let's see what else we got. Okay. Um, okay, so I uh, let's get to my favorite part of the pickup haul. And that's the comic books. I uh, Because I was sick and feeling crappy, uh, you know, one of those things where you don't want to get up, yeah, I ended up looking on eBay. I got I should slap myself. I shouldn't be spending money while I'm sick. But uh, it was just, you know, it's a distraction. So I ended it up. One thing I like to do is I like typing in, uh, you know, sometimes I'm looking for specific variants. But a lot of times I'm just looking for a cool variant that's a good price that someone has on sale. So I'll type in 1 in a 100 variant comic book. Just to see what comes up. And uh, just to look. I usually aim for $10 or less. Because usually that's a pretty rare variant. So I saw someone had this one listed for $8.99. Um, so they had that one listed for... I believe $8.99. They were having like a 50 to 60% off sale. And uh, normally it's like a 20 to $30 comic book. So I was like, alright... Let me see what else they had, because I usually like to buy, because shipping was like 5 bucks. I didn't want to pay 13 uh, But usually, what happens is if you buy a bunch of comics, they'll give you a good price. So I was going down their list, and uh, I was just looking for any variants that they had that looked cool that was a cheap price. Uh, they had this one for $2. Uh, and what I did was I double-checked mycomicshop.com just to see what they were selling it for. And it, I was trying to buy anything that looked cool that was... 50% to 75% off of my comic shop. So, like, this is probably, like, a 6 or $7 comic on there. It was on sale for $2. I thought it was cool. Uh, let's see. I paid $1.50 for this one. I just thought, really liked the cover. It wasn't a variant or anything. So, I figured $1.50 is okay. Uh, $1.25 for this variant. Cool Wolverine variant. I thought that was a good price. I paid $5 for this one. Uh, I thought it was a cool cover. Um, three dollars for this one. Again, I thought it was a cool cover, and a lot of these were—I'm not sure how rare they were. Like one in twenty-five variants, one in fifty variants, one in ten occasionally. Some of the cheaper ones. Uh, this one was six fifty. It's a cool Guardians of the Galaxy variant. Um, the uh, he had one older comic that I bought. I paid. Twelve fifty for Strange Tales number one forty five. Uh, he said it was in very fine condition, and it is. It's a really nice copy. It's got a little bit of brown and yellowing on the edge, and very minor, minor creases on the edge. Looks beautiful. It's a beautiful, beautiful copy. The pages are nice. Uh, so I was like, you know, I'll pay twelve dollars for that. Why not? It bought. Uh, let's see. I paid two fifty for the Scotty Young variant. Uh, a lot of times, I'll buy any variant if it's. You know, if it's a four dollar cover price and they're selling for two fifty, and I'll, you know, I'll buy it because I mean, you can't really go. It's hard for it to go further down in value than almost fifty percent off cover price. Uh, I paid two fifty for this Fraggle Rock Virgin cover. I just thought it was a really cool cover. Uh, I paid a dollar seventy five for this Anita Blake Vampire Hunter. I I really just like the cover. I just like the way she's drawn and how she's. About to fight all the, the vampire zombies. That looks really cool. Let's see. I paid $10 for this one. It was a 1 in 50 variant. I just thought it was a really awesome cover. 
you know, Black Widow, just well painted. She's like crouching down with her cloak on. It looks like it was in the aftermath of some major battle. Such a cool cover. And and uh, mycomicshop.com had it for like 30 something, so I figured, ah, $10. I love sales. Sales are the best. All right, this is a 1 in 50, and I paid six forty nine for it. I thought it was a pretty cool Wolverine cover. I paid $2 for a Sergio Aragonis comic. DC Superstars Presents. I love Sergio Aragonis. He's probably my top. He might be my favorite comic artist. I just I grew up loving Gru. I love his cartoony comics. They're funny. Uh, just a huge fan. Two bucks. Great shape. I paid $3 for this uh, Stomp Out Bullying variant cover. I really want the whole set of these i mean i know they came out last year but i've been just waiting to pick them up whenever i could find them for like two or three bucks so i got one very cool all right i got this uh new avengers variant for 250 thought it looked pretty cool uh i got the spider verse uh spider-man noir cover for 650 I thought that was cool. I like the character. He's a cool looking Spider-Man character. Very cool cover. Uh, let's see. I paid $4 for this amazing Spider-Man variant. I just thought it looked really cool. And you know, $4, that's cover price. Cover price. Just, I feel like I, I, if it's a cool variant, I don't mind paying cover price. Usually if it's a regular cover, uh, I'll wait till I get it cheaper. But for a variant, cover price is not bad. Especially if it's like a 1 in 10 or 1 in 50. Um... Especially if it's a one in fifty. Okay, let's see what I got. I got this new Avengers for six fifty. Uh, I just thought it was a really, really cool cover. I just I love the way it's, you know, the composition of it with Black Bolt in the background and Doctor Strange. Just really cool. I keep saying that. I just that's what I was I was picking out covers I thought looked cool that were at a good price. Okay, and then I got this one for a dollar fifty. I don't know why they had them so cheap. Dollar fifty. That's pretty cool. And then the last one I bought from them was this one for two dollars. Now I, I had to cut myself off. I think I hit about a hundred dollars with shipping. I was like, I can't buy any more. That's it. So I stopped looking. I wanted to buy more, but I was already like, ah, oh, I spent too much. No more. But the cool thing was that they gave me three for free. They gave me uh, a books a million goop variant. They gave me a uh, Spider Gwen variant and a Secret Wars variant. So that was a pleasant surprise. It was awesome. I got those for free. They threw them in, and uh, I love that. I love anytime I buy from a vendor and I buy a bunch of stuff, and they, you know, now I'm gonna look at their website all or their uh, eBay store all the time, just because that little added bonus makes it so that uh, you know I was already buying stuff at a good price, and then you get something extra. That's awesome. Okay, and so. I did get that box, it came in, and I was excited again, so I kind of had the comic eye. You know how it is when you're a collector, when you get something, and you're so excited that you got it. And I, honestly, Funko Pops have been kind of bummed out just because I haven't been able to find the ones I wanted when they came out, because it's too much so hard. So I was just like, I kind of want to collect something else, and so focus on comics or something. But I still really like the Funko Pops. I just, I need to figure out a way to, you know, get my Funko Pop desires met without being so frustrated waiting for these new hot ones i mean i really wanted those halloween ones those things sold out in like minutes uh, i wanted some of the uh, toy tokyo ones minutes just they sell out and it just it's not uh, it's just not fun it's not fun to be frustrated all the time so you know what there's plenty of other awesome things to collect so i don't need to get the the hottest thing uh, you know, there's other things that are just as rare or rarer. They just don't sell for as much because there isn't as much demand. Whereas Funko Pops right now, there's so much demand. People are buying them up like crazy. Uh, I actually, I think a lot of resellers are buying them up like crazy. They kind of artificially put them in and then they set a price that they don't want to sell below. But that's why like the Dr. Harleen I got, I'm just going to wait and maybe try to find some of them in lots down the road. Okay, so I, you know, I had the variant comic bug. So I ended up looking for some more. <laughs> I gotta stop doing that. Uh, again, I kind of wanted to hit that hundred dollars or less. Uh, so I went. I found another vendor that had stuff for sale, and I was just looking to see what they had and compared their prices to mycomicshop.com just to see. Uh, you know, for instance, I bought this one for seven bucks. 
I thought that was an awesome Red Hulk cover. And uh, $7 is great because comic, mycomicshop.com had it for like 30 He I got this uh, Anita Blake variant for 2 bucks. I got uh, uh, this Avengers AI variant for 5 bucks. Uh, I really like that one. I think that I like uh, Michael Allred artwork. I thought that was really cool. And I got um, this Avengers Scarlet Witch cover, four bucks. This FF variant. This is uh, I think uh, like a one in fifty. I paid eight for that one. Uh, I really like that cover. That's a cool cover. Uh, Gotham Academy number eight. It's a Teen Titan Go variant. I want to get the whole set of all the variants they did that month, so I've been slowly picking them up for a buck or two. And uh, that one was two bucks. Uh, Groot number one variant. That one was five bucks. And then a, a, a Gwen Groot. <laughs> Gwen Stacy as Groot. <laughs> I thought that was funny. And I, I like Peter Porker. The Spectacular spider Ham. I like that character. So uh, I thought that was a cool cover. Four bucks. And then uh, I got this Guardians of Infinity cover. Six dollars. A Guardians of the Galaxy variant with uh, Thanos on the cover. Five bucks. Uh, another Guardians of the Galaxy variant, five bucks. Thought that one was really cute. Uh, four bucks for this variant. It's like the toy homage to the regular number one. I thought that was kind of cool. What's this one, four bucks. It was another stomp out bullying one. I'm really excited to get that one. I love that cover. Awesome cover. I paid seven dollars for this one. I think that was like a one in fifty. Also seven dollars for this one. Another rare variant. As you can see, I like the Guardians of the Galaxy. I, I mean, I didn't really like them before, but I loved the movie so much that I've I've become a big collector of all the you know, the comics and the toys and all that. And I can't wait. The sequel looks so good. Uh, I just can't wait to see it. Uh, I paid $4 for that variant. And uh, $8 for that variant. And 6 bucks for this one. That's one I really wanted that uh, it had been selling for like 20 to 30 bucks. I just couldn't find it. So I was happy to find it on sale. I love it. I love when people sell stuff on sale and you get, you know, cool covers that you want for a good price. Now there's a few of the super high end rare ones I want that I'm just hoping one day I find, but uh, you never know. You never know when the luck of the draw will be. Oh, okay. I have one more comic lot to go through, but first, uh, just another pickup at my store. Someone sold me uh, a bunch of these the Cupid doll figures. Oh, I think these are so cute. Um... I think I gave them two fifty or three dollars each. I uh, he had a whole bunch of them. He sold me a few like a month or two ago. I guess he just he's thinning out his collection. He's sick of having them on his desk. I just uh, they're so cute. They normally come blind boxed, I think. And uh, so I have maybe ten of them now, fifteen of them. Oh, if I find more next summer, I bet next summer when I start looking at garage sales, I'll find a few. Because I think they're relatively new. Just the last year or so. So those are cute. I got all those. Okay, let's get to the last comic lot. Okay, and then the last little lot, I paid $26. It was uh, free shipping over 25 But they had a comic I've been looking for for a few months now for 8 bucks, which was a great price. They had Astonishing Ant-Man number 10. Uh, I really, really wanted that cover. I love it. It's an awesome cover. Uh, so that was eight bucks. So I was looking through their shop just to see what else they had, just so I can hit that twenty-five mark. And uh, I've done a couple other cool things. I got um, this Avengers AI for three dollars. It has an old school like nineteen fifties children's book look to it. I love it. I thought that was awesome. Uh, I got this cool Amanda Connor, um, Tigress, Woman of Marvel cover. I thought that was cool. That was four fifty. I got this Harley Quinn and Suicide Squad special edition Jim Lee cover. Uh, I guess it was free, but I paid two bucks for it. I just I needed something. I, I was just looking for things that I didn't have. I have so many comic books. It's hard to find things that I don't have. Most of the stuff I'm looking for is either really old or really new. Uh, okay, I got this Harley issue for two bucks. Uh, I'm still missing a few from that run. I love Amanda Connor's artwork. I think it's wonderful. Um, I picked this up for two bucks. It's uh, well, my son and I were watching Young Justice. I hadn't seen it before. I absolutely love Young Justice. I'm so excited, so excited to hear that they're doing a third season. But I, I love Red Tornado in the series, so I was like, all right, that's a cool cover. I'm gonna pick that up. 
Uh, and then I got one Miss Marvel for two bucks that I still needed, and uh, another Teen Titans Go variant cover for two bucks. So that's it. That was my um, haul from the last few weeks, last three or four weeks, I guess. Uh, a couple other odds and ends that I too much junk to show you. <laughs> Hope you guys aren't bored by this video. I'm just really happy to do another video. Uh, hope you guys enjoy it. It's been a while since I've done one. I, I don't know if maybe you guys forgot I'm here. <laughs> so if you know if you enjoy these kind of videos, let me know. If you want to see other types of videos, let me know. Just ask me questions. I'm happy to answer any kind of questions you have. Uh, you know, if you want to send me something to unbox, I would love to unbox some random things i'd promote your channel if you want to do that um i don't know i, I just i kind of miss it it's kind of hard when you're not doing videos it's hard to do videos because you're not inspired but when you do videos you start thinking when you're being creative it's easier to be continue to be creative when you stop for a while it's so hard and i just my toe hurt so badly i felt like i couldn't walk it was just in a lot of pain and you know i was sick and just uh I've, just, I've been throwing myself into my comic collection the last week or so well, feeling terrible i just been sorting like crazy i got you know 20 30 thousand comics i gotta get through to sort uh and pull out all the duplicates and decide what i want to keep and just organize it better to see what i need i'm um, probably i probably have some of these comics i just want <laughs> i have so much stuff uh okay so thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up I ch my you know my videos need a thumbs up if you, uh if you like you know, if this is the first time you've seen my videos, please subscribe to my channel. I want to do more videos for you. And uh, thank you so much for watching.